guys, this is Kim again. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, it's actually raining here, so uh, <laughs> uh, I will be in all day. Um, I just wanted to start out by saying um, thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. You guys just do not know uh, what you're doing to me. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you, and I'm going to work hard to make sure that I'm putting out good content. I'm still working on that new camera, so things will be a little bit uh, crisper, and um, thank you so much for, uh, you know, again, subscribing to my channel, because you really didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. All right, today, guys... Um, First of all, I wanted to tell you guys that I have a few things that I am going to be doing for you. Um, I am going to be doing a series on trust. And I know trust is a big um, issue for a lot of people. It's something that I still struggle with as well. And, um, you know, I'm still kind of working it out because I'm going to do it in a series form. So um, look out for that. And um, I'm going to try to make it not boring and creative and that kind of thing. So. Today, I want to talk about how we motivate ourselves. Um, I know some people probably would say that, you know, I, I know how to motivate myself, but not everybody does. And there are ways that we can go about keeping ourselves motivated toward the things that we want to do in our lives. And I'm just going to go over a couple of them. I'm, I'm not going to keep you guys too long. And, um, you know, they, I'm sure these things are going to sound familiar to you, but these are things that will help you stay motivated toward the things that you are trying to do in your life and in life, period. The first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, you need to take a break. That may sound simple, but... Um, a lot of people, especially in the, the world that we live in today, it's all about work, work, work. And taking vacations, um, even if you are not able to go somewhere and just relax, you have to be able to rest your body and your brain so that you can rejuvenate because you can't work at your optimal level if you're not rested, if your mind is not rested, if your body is not rested. So in order for you to stay motivated, you have to take a break. That's very necessary. Um, this is a big one for me because when I get um, excited about something, I do this and I shouldn't do it. When you are trying to do things, like, like I said, we get excited. Keep it to yourself until you've actually done it. Because what happens, we go on and we tell people and, you know, we go to our Facebook friends and we tell them what we're in the process of doing and everybody's praising us and liking the posts and all this other stuff. And it kind of tricks your brain into thinking that you've already accomplished it. So it does something to your motivation. If you're already feeling like it's accomplished, then, you know, you're not motivated to go towards it. So... Keeping things to yourself, and, and, and I'm guilty of this as well, like I said. Keep it to yourself until you've actually done it, and then you can tell everybody, and then they'll praise you then. Um, we have big, big goals and, and things that we want to do, especially when we're um, pursuing our purpose and that kind of thing. When you're looking at the end result. Sometimes it can look daunting because it's like over there. But while you're going through the process of getting there, you need to celebrate the little steps so that that will keep you motivated toward getting to the big thing. So always celebrate and, and you know, check boxes, check off boxes on your list, that kind of thing. So it will keep you going toward what you really are, you know, trying to achieve. So make sure you celebrate the small wins as well. This is something, and, and they call it being gentle with yourself. Being gentle with yourself in the way of, 
not comparing your accomplishments to other people people's accomplishments there's always going to be someone who is smarter there's always going to be someone whose accomplishments are bigger than yours don't look at somebody else's accomplishments and compare them to yours just look at yours and say these are my accomplishments and, and those are theirs and that way you won't get into this thing where you're you're downing yourself because you haven't accomplish what this person has accomplished because that's not really what you're trying to do you're trying to do what you do and somebody else is doing what they do so stay in your space and don't look at what everybody else is doing that is really true that you know we 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 get bogged down with what everybody else is doing and if ours doesn't look as big as theirs then we're you know feeling bad about ourselves but don't feel bad about yourself because what you're trying to do is what you're trying to do and what they're doing is what they're doing so don't look at what they're doing just concentrate on you the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about and this is a big one today especially in our social media world that we live in embracing your vulnerabilities when we go on to places like Facebook and Instagram, I mean, you're seeing people, they're living, it looks like they're living these fabulous lives, they're going here, they're going there, and they actually put out a study not too long ago about how people are getting depressed while they're, you know, you know, on social media because they're looking at people's lives and they're saying, well, my life is not like that. Well. I will tell you, most of the time, the people that you're looking at, their life, is, <laughs> their life isn't like that either. So stop doing that. And what actually happens, what is a good thing when it comes to your vulnerabilities? When you allow people to see that your life is not perfect, you have issues, yeah, you have days where things are going great, but you also have things, days where things are not going so great. And what that does, when you allow people to see that, it actually um, brings about a bigger connection with your peers. People see that and say, okay, well, you know, I've gone through that as well. So, you know, we, we, we can relate to each other because nobody is living a perfect, fabulous life all the time. And social media, I will tell you, is it sometimes it can be a dangerous place because we are looking at other people through they're online so you're not you're not inside of their lives you don't know exactly what's going on and that that could just be a part of their life so um you know let people let people you know see you know that you have you have issues and things like that no but you're not you're not perfect you're not living this perfect life so let people see that sometimes um that's all that I wanted to talk to you guys about today, um, take my words, um, use them, um, apply them to your lives, and uh, you know, what I want you guys to do, like I said in my video before the last video, I want you to uh, live your best lives. And um, if I can offer any assistance in that, I am so happy to do that. And um, I love you guys, the people that have subscribed to my channel, the people that are watching the videos. I love you guys so much and thank you from the bottom of my heart because I'm really sincere about that. Um, have a wonderful day. Again, always, always love yourself and I will talk to you guys on the other side. Thank you so much. Bye.